If I had to pick one word to, to describe death, the word would probably be meaningful or significant. For me, one word that I would think of when I think about death and dying is trust. I think the word that comes to mind the most for me is opportunity. We have an opportunity, if we're the patient, of showing our trust in the Lord, of allowing people to care for us, of working through things that we've had a hard time with in our whole lives, and having some healing. If I had to, and you know, if we're talking from a Christian perspective, I think Jesus does give one image that is useful. He talks about, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. Um, but when it does fall into the earth and die, it bears much fruit. And so there is this element of the sadness, of the, the, the loss, the privation, etc. But it does bear fruit. And I think, you know, if that image perhaps highlights the, maybe the merciful aspect of death a bit more, that's probably because the Christ Christian tradition holds on to the hope that death is not the end. And the suffering, the loss that we experience as real and as horrible as it is, is ultimately outweighed or eclipsed by uh, the weight of glory that the Christian hope promises. The fact that Canada now has medical assistance in dying legislation that allows uh, physicians the uh, ability to uh, end a patient's life um, who, are, who are either near the end of life or suffering some kind of uh, illness that, that they see as intolerable. Um, it, it's, a, it's, it's to me, it's a, a sad reflection upon the fact that we, we um, have put so much emphasis upon suffering as, as uh, taking away from uh, a human's uh, identity, a human's dignity. Uh, as, a, as a person created in God's image. But I think we need to be bringing the discussion of what it means to have a good death into our homes. We need to be thinking about having a good model for our children and our grandchildren about what it means to have a good life. And a good life also includes some of what in the past was called ars moriendi, the art of dying. One of the great tragedies, I think, of the modern world, and indeed it's a tragedy of my life, is that I've been involved in the church for pretty much all my life, and I've never had any training in how to die. I've never had any real instruction in how to die. 